Can't reveal your secrets. <coughs> oh, man, that's that. How long has this water been sitting here, Janice? Janice, I swear to God, I am this close to firing. Oh. Well, you didn't tell me that. God damn it, Janice. Janice, can I just get some new water, Janice? I mean, it's full of dust. I don't care that... Yeah, no, I don't care. I just want some new water, Janice. Shoreline. Welcome to the Dynamite Gizmo Podcast, everyone. Episode 115. 115. <laughs> it's 15115. One one hundred and sh shut your fucking mouth. I don't want to hear any more bullshit from you. Ugh, that water's been sitting there for a long time. And it, I think there's dust on the top of the water. That's how long it's been sitting there. Because every time I take a drink, it feels like I'm swallowing particles of fuzz. So, whoops, that's a loud noise, isn't it? Have fun with the loud noises, they said. Have fun with the loud noises of the microphone, they said. Don't touch the microphone, Jeremiah Watkins says. Um, you may be wondering, hey... Why does the, the, the visual aspect of this podcast look a bit different? Well, I've got my camera figured out. It was super simple. I had like an epiphany moment. Uh, oh, wow, my camera's dusty. The lens isn't because I cleaned the lens, but I didn't clean the rest of the camera. And I'm looking at it right now in the light, and it is dusty. But that's fine. As long as the lens is clean, I'll clean the rest of it later. I, cause if you don't know, if you haven't been watching, which you haven't been, cause nobody has, you will have known that uh, my camera stopped working. It's still recorded and everything, but I just couldn't get the footage off the camera, no matter what I tried. Um, so I just, I just, you know, today I sat down. I was preparing for the podcast. I was getting my my phone ready to record. And then I was like, shit, why don't I just do this? It just popped into my head, like fucking when Einstein was working in the patent office. And he was doing some menial task, and then he, you know, the E equals MC squared bullshit came to his head or something. I can't, <laughs> you know, that, but those moments, that just happened to me. I was like, why didn't I just do this? And then I tried it. It took me five, less than five minutes. I figured it out. And I spent fucking, it's been a long ass time since I've been able to use this camera. And now I can finally fucking use it again. It's got a wide angle lens. It's got a fucking viewfinder attached to it. I mean, it's designed for filming so I don't have to have that stupid cut in the middle of the fucking, in the middle of the podcast where it shows my logo. If you're wondering why that logo is always there and somewhere random in the video. Well, that's because my camera will only record up to about 30-something minutes. And then it uh, slices the video, stops it, starts a new file. So, when it and when it does that, you know, the transition between one file to the next, there's like two to three seconds of non-recording. So you hear the voice, but you got to look at my logo. <laughs> 
Don't explain this. It's boring. Talk about what needs to be talked about. Um, like that. Um, Lots of um, too much. Um, <laughs> oh, I just love that soundbite. It's a great one. So yeah, I got my camera fingered out. And so now I'm going to be using my camera from now on. Makes everything way easier. I can have my phone with me because we all have our phone addiction. You know, when you're recording with your phone, you don't know if your phone if you're getting a text message on your phone. Cuz I think it mutes it. I don't know. I never have, but now I don't have to use that stupid mirror anymore. It's broken anyway. I even have a remote for this fucking See, I can zoom if I want to. Oh, don't zoom out too far. You're showing the rest of the room. That's not what we want here. You can't reveal your secrets. <coughs> oh, man, that's that. How long has this water been sitting here, Janice? Janice, I swear to God. I am this close to firing. Oh. Well, you didn't tell me that. God damn it, Janice. Janice, can I just get some new water, Janice? I mean, it's full of dust. I don't care that... Yeah, no, I don't care. I just want some new water, Janice. I'm drinking... I mean, it's like a... There's literally a layer of dust... Just floating on the top of my water. Could you imagine drinking that shit? I own you, Janice. Fine. Oh, God. I feel like I'm on Fear Factor or something. You know, Janice, for real, though, like, you only have one job, and that job is to provide water. And when you can't even do that, I mean, really. That's how I feel right now. Fucking around in the mulberry bush. Stop it! <laughs> Here's today's card. It's tradition around here to show you the card, but it's not tradition to show you what's on the card. But you'll find out because I'll talk about it anyway. Um, we're on the green cards. We were, you know, we were in the pink. Now we're in the stink. Okay? We're in the green section. You don't know what I'm talking about here? I've got flash cards, okay? As you can see, different colors... We just, we went through the blue, we went through the pink, now we're at the green. And this is the second booklet, by the way. I already finished off one booklet. See, this is what I already have done. All these cards are full. This is every episode of the podcast. Right here, in this big pile. Huh? It's fancy, huh? I, you know... Not a lot of people have flashcards like this that they can say, Hey, I filled every one of them. These are dusty, too. <sighs> Oof. Man, why is it so dusty in here, Janice? You got a new job, Dan Janice. You're my dust mop. Man, look at the dust floating around from these cards. If you want one of these dusty pieces of shit cards, I want you to leave a comment in the comment section saying... I like dust in my lungs. And maybe I'll pick you and I'll send you one. Oh, stop it. That's dust. God damn it, Janice. Oh, God. Um. So what's been going on in the world? You don't know? 
many bags of bird ham in here? See, I gotta flip through all the you channels. You ran out of bird ham. I gotta flip through all the profiles on here because there's only six buttons. It's the smallest stream deck. So you gotta make a bunch of folders and blah, blah, blah. So to find what you're looking for, if you got a lot like I do, you gotta flip through the pages. But the bigger one's out of my budget. Can't afford. Someday I will, though. Some day over the rainbow. Fix my computer. It's tilted down. My monitor was conk-eyed. Um, a wing a wet, a wing a wet, a wing a wet. Oh, so I got a couple videos to show, but I ain't gonna show them yet. Uh, I just want to talk about some stuffs that's been going on in the wiggity whack world. Dip dip. <laughs> um, if a crazy thing, crazy things. As you get older, you change we all know this but i'm living it um changes happen all the time all every every all uh, aubrey plaza day every day and i can't believe i'm gonna say this but i th think i'm starting to <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm about to come out of the closet or something. It's not that bad. But I just want... I feel like I'm becoming a fan of Logan Paul. I never thought I would say this. I gotta plug this laptop in. Um, Where was I? Logan Paul, yes. Now, Logan is a questionable fella. He's been uh he's been through the ringer and back, you know, he's done some shit that he definitely shouldn't have done and he's done stuff that nobody has done in a bad way, you know, with the whole suicide forest debacle. That was really a big tipping point. And you know, up to that point, I was not a fan of Logan. I didn't even really like him on Vine. I was I was huge into Vine. Loved it even contributed to the website i made plenty of f vines and i was enjoying it and i was fully embracing embracing vine i even had like i was gonna start uh a segment on my channel i have like one or two maybe three videos where i was like highlighting the five best vines of the week or some shit and that was actually fun because vine was incredible i don't care what anyone says I never laughed more than I have watching these six second vines. And you know, that's where Logan got started. And then of course when Vine died, it was devastating and all the viners spread outward. They went to Instagram, they went to YouTube specifically, um, Twit they went everywhere else other than Vine because it didn't exist anymore. And you know, they all either blew up on their individual platforms or a combination of all the platforms or they just died off and we never heard from them again uh, a lot of them did survive and continue on doing what they're doing but they're definitely not as popular as they were on vine some of them some of them but other ones have blown up exponentially to this massive degree like logan paul and even jake paul but logan's way bigger than him right now um, so, you know, and then Logan was, you know, experiencing all the fame and the fortune and, you know, he was going through his young phase of money plus adolescence, running amok, doing bad stuff on the news channels and doing whatever it takes to get views. And, you know, he reached a point where he realized, you know, I can't do this anymore. It's causing harm to me and you know i'd say the suicide force was really the tipping point because after that he started to get his act together 
And then Jake was getting in all the shit, and Logan was kind of off to the side. And then Logan built himself up. He went from being a guy who was filming dead corpses hanging in a tree. Well, that, that, that makes it sound way worse, okay? He filmed a corpse hanging by the neck in a forest in Japan. He filmed it and talked about it right in front of it. And he came back from that. And that's uh, that's one of the one of the main reasons why I appreciate who he is now. And he he's really self-aware now. Super self-aware and he uses that to his advantage now. And he's always expressing the fact that he knows he was, you know, did a bunch of stupid shit. And he's moved past it. And he's a different person now. And just as Logan is a different person, I am a different person. And so now I'm kind of pushing towards becoming a fan of Logan. And I don't I don't want to say I'm a fan of him officially yet. But, you know, within the next month, that's probably going to be official. Like, I've been through this process enough you know being that i've been on youtube as long as i have (laughs) you know what it's like when you can start to feel yourself gradually gravitating towards a new influencer or something and that's what's happening with logan paul i'm enjoying listening to him talk uh not saying like he's the smartest guy on the planet and even he admits that too but he's not like stupid. He's definitely not a stupid person. I mean, you can think of smart in so many objective and different ways, but he's he just seems like a genuine decent person now. And he okay, so he is fighting KSI once again. He fought him once like a year ago or longer. I can't remember exactly when it was. Uh, it c- turned out to be a draw. And Jake Paul fought someone as well. I can't remember who it was. I think Jake won. But Logan is having a rematch, and he's been training, like, nonstop for the past year. And th- this whole boxing thing is pretty cheesy. <laughs> Corny. Cringy. But, fuck, I mean... The promotion and the amount of money that he's going to make from this totally trumps any sort of cringiness at all. Because the guy is like, he obviously knows what he's doing. Well, he has people helping him that know what they're doing, know what they're doing. He's taking full advantage of this whole boxing thing. And you know what? He's, what I don't like is this whole fake feud between Logan and KSI. Because obviously, it's so obvious that they don't actually hate each other. But all they do in every podcast or every interview, they always say how much they absolutely despise each other. But you can just fucking hear it in their voice that it's not genuine at all. It's totally fake drama. But, you know, that's what you do when you want to get the views in certain scenarios. Something like this, yeah, happens all the fucking time, but I hate it. It's so fake, you can tell it's fake. And then the press conference just came out, or whatever the fuck it is. What do they call it? Where they get on stage and they fucking rub each other's foreheads together and talk a bunch of shit. What do you call that? I don't know. I think it is a press conference, I don't know. But they get up, you know, just like the in the UFC, and you see it all, all the time. The two fighters get up on stage, and they're standing, like, this close from each other, and they're, like, getting in each other's face. And now when you watch the UFC, it looks, even if it is fake, it looks real. Because those guys are, like, hard as fuck. And they're just, like, pure anger. You know, whether it is, and even if it is fake, they're doing a good job of making it look real. But with KSI and Logan, these they you watch this and it's like it's cringe to the maximum. 
because you can see they're faking this whole anger between the two of them. They're like touching foreheads and like, like you can tell like it looks like they're kind of grinning a little bit like, oh, this is kind of stupid pretending to be mad at each other. Like it's so fucking corny. And then they then they're talking shit, but the shit talking is just garbage. It's like slow and off pace, and they're not even really saying that harsh of a th- stuff. I don't know. Like, and they never really. I don't even know if they may have explained why they hate each other so much. Actually, I'm sure they have. They must have, right? I just don't remember what it was. But whatever it is, it's... And if it is real, if this is a real feud, and they just want to, like, fucking kick the shit out of each other, they're doing a really bad job (laughs) at expressing their anger towards one another. Like It's just, there's too much money involved to think that there's an actual feud. On top of the fakeness that comes from both of them. Because they know they're both going to make a shit ton of money. Even the the lineup before them are like a bunch of professional like uh, fucking fighters. Guys that are way beyond their their, um, capabilities of boxing. And Logan's, you know, running around saying that he's like, he feels like a professional boxer now. He's only been doing it for a year, but, I mean, I can't talk. I don't have any experience in any of this. But I feel like calling yourself a professional after only been doing it for a year, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the guy's always been fit. But, you know, okay, so aside all this boxing shit, I just like listening to Logan talk on his media now. I don't know. Like, I just watched his most recent podcast with Ben Shapiro. That was pretty good. I want to see Logan on... I mean, we already saw him do the interview with Casey Neistat. But I want to see him on, like, the H3 podcast... Joe Ro- I want to see him everywhere. I want to hear more of what he has to say. I mean, Jake Jake Paul was on fucking the H3 podcast, so why can't Logan be on there? My poop looks like Angel Hair Pasta. That's right, Bobby Lee. Your poop, it looks like Angel Hair. You guys got <laughs> any bags of bird ham in here? So, why don't we... Uh, I really don't have anything else to talk about on here except for one other thing, and I don't even know if I want to talk about that. So I just want to show these couple videos here. Um, <laughs> they make me laugh just looking at the thumbnail here, but um, there's pe- there's I will say there's um, I don't want to spoil it though. It's just gross, okay? If you don't like gross stuff. Don't watch this. There's two. Somehow these two videos showed up on my twit. And I was like, man, I gotta fucking display these. These, This is a good example of what's funny in the world. (laughs) Now, there's a lot of people that are not going to find this funny. They're going to find it more gross than anything. But I like it. This is... this (laughs) This shit makes me laugh. Let's watch it. I wish it didn't stop right there. Like, he's in mid puke and it stops. <laughs> Man, this shit is fucking hilarious. I don't know how anyone could not find this. <laughs> The guy's fucking... He's so out of it. And you can tell... <laughs> you can tell he thought to himself, okay. He's... He's... <laughs> he's conscious enough to understand that getting down on one knee is a technique in uh, preventing yourself from puking. I've seen it 
and heard about it. I think in, in cadets they taught us that. Or no, maybe that was for fainting. If you feel like you're going to faint, just get down on one knee or something. Because of the hot weather or whatever. But anyway. <laughs> but I, yeah, I feel like this is a technique for puking. If you feel like you're about to puke, <laughs> get down on one knee. <laughs> and you can tell he's trying so hard not to puke. <laughs> and his face. Man, he just... Le oh, it's great. This is like... <laughs> This is something that's hard to fake. Like this is real right here. <laughs> I love how he just like his everything widens his eyes and then his mouth. Damn. This I gotta retweet this. Too bad it's not fucking, it's not longer. I love, if I'm around puke, I'll puke. Sometimes if I see people puking, I might gag a bit. <laughs> but when I see stuff like this, this makes me laugh. If I saw this in real life, that would be even forever times more funny. Because seeing it in real life is always more funny than seeing it in the video. But that is that is pure gold right there. That is hilarious. That is a f that's some funny fucking shit. <clears throat> now this other video involves puke as well. Um, but it's centered around... Well, I'll just play it. Guys fighting. Got a bunch of people fighting. Okay, so I'm listening. Oh my god, she's still going. This is disgusting. What does this guy have on his head? Okay, so there's a bunch of people fighting in a big group. There's like 10, 15 people here. Maybe, no, there's probably like 10. They're all, you know, there's like a group. There's like two specific groups fighting each other. One group kind of goes off to the left. There's this girl. She pukes a little bit. Then she pukes again, but she aims it on the people fighting. And she pukes again and aims it. She keeps puking on the fight, people fighting. And there's this guy... There's this bald guy here. But he's got like a little tuft of hair on top or something. And he's like trying to be the reasonable one here. Like look at this guy's head. What the fuck is that on his head? See it's moving with his head so obviously it's on his head. He's not even bald. He's balding. There's something on his head. It's not even the same color as his, ha as his hair. So did he just like bunch some hair up in like a, a ponytail that goes straight up in the air and then dye it? I don't know. But look at this girl in the background. Blech. Sucks her puke up. Oh, she puked again when she fell on the ground. <laughs> it's weird watching people puke in reverse. Blech. <laughs> Man, she pukes a bunch. Let's watch oh, it again. Oh, oh, Let's oh, oh, First puke. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Second oh, puke. Oh, That's a big one. Oh, 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 Third puke. Oh, Fourth oh, puke. Oh, my God. Let me just go down. Nobody even notices that she's puking on them either. Like, she's puking all over the people, and they have no idea. If I was here, I wouldn't even be here. I would never find myself in a situation like this. If this happened, I'd be the first one to leave. As soon as this shit started happening, I'm gone. If I somehow convinced myself to stay, and then the puking was started happening, 
then I'm definitely gone. You know? We should, this girl looks... Just, well, I shouldn't say anything. And look, now fucking Ben Shapiro is number three trending. What's going on? What do we have in the comments here? I don't know what the fuck that bitch is doing, but follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. These people. Okay, so people will post videos that probably aren't even their own. Like, I bet this Ron Dog guy. Well, it, it, no, it's probably his. They'll post shit like this. It goes viral. And then as soon as it goes viral, this isn't even that viral, by the way. This is a, only has 4.9K, 5K now. Well, 21k. Like, it's kind of viral. Like, it's it's decently viral. But as soon as that happens, it's instant. Oh, promote promote my Instagram. Promote my promote my Instagram. Promote my Instagram. Or Twitter. Or I guess it's on promo, YouTube. They just instantly jump on that shit. Yeah. I mean, it's a good opportunity to gain some viewers. Shh. Or followers for sure, but it's not genuine, right? Like, this video doesn't demonstrate what his content is, unless this is what his content is. In that case, then it is good, but I mean, for the majority of it, people will just promote their regular Instagram page, which is just them, you know, living their, their lives every day. Or, you know, it could be anything. But in I feel like a better way to gain followers is have them discover you and discover your content. And then they make the decision whether or not they're going to follow you. And then when they make the decision, oh, I'm going to follow this person, then that means they're committed to you. And they're going to be willing to come back to your page and check your shite out. But when you just do stuff like this, right under your own post that went viral... You put your Instagram page and say something along the lines of, don't care about the video, just follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you back. You know, those aren't genuine views. Those aren't genuine followers. You know, it's not always about the numbers. It's about the, you know, whether people are actually watching your shit, okay? You understand? What the fuck I'm saying? Remember the 90s? I'm gonna have some more dust water. Oh god, Janice. Fuck me, man. Janice. Janice, you know what they say about first impressions? How they always stick to a person? My first impression of you, Janice, is forever gonna be imprinted about the fact that you dust my water. Look at the dust particles along the side of this cup. That's all on the inside. Janice? I think Janice is, is trying to kill me, to be honest. Janice is a friend of mine. Janice is a friend of mine. Can't touch the table or fucks with the mic because the mic's attached to the table. You touch it, makes loud noise. Touch, make noise. I don't know why, but this interface has to be turned up nearly all the way in order for you to hear my ugly voice. I'm not an audio engineer. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I've honestly been thinking about switching back to my Yeti. I've got it sitting over here. That's why I'm pointing at it. Because the Yeti's a pretty decent quality mic. But the only problem is people see that you have a Yeti and they say, Ah, oh, this guy is a cheap bastard. He's got a fucking Yeti like everyone else. Fuck that guy. I don't want to watch this bug. He's got a Yeti. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. <laughs> what the fuck, man? 
Remember the 90s? Remember the simpler times of the 90s when you could wear neon pink tracksuit and pants and they went like when you'd walk around? Can't even get comfortable on the couch without... Remember that? In the socks? Tracksuit and socks? And headband? And body break? Body break! Was that just a Canadian thing? Not the tracksuit, but the body break. If you don't know what body break is, I have a video on... I have a podcast. An episode of this podcast called uh, uh, 90s commercials or some shit. I don't remember. But I mentioned Body Break because the 90s. Every generation has their generation that they grew up in and that's the era that they miss and admire the most. But the 90s were, I don't know, man. They were great. I mean, the kids today are going to look back to this era and say, oh, the fucking, uh, the 2010s were fucking fantastic. That was exceptionally great. But, I mean, really, the 90s. (laughs) The 90s are where it's at. It was fucking, it was just beautiful. So much color. Everything was colorful. Everything was colorful. (laughs) Colors. Lots of colors. Why was there so much colors? Who cares? It was great. And then it faded away. Now it's kind of coming back, as everything does. But not only was there colors, it was just the beginning of the age of computers and the internet so nobody had really you know there was no social media not even close to getting to social media like we were all just fucking stumbling around on these electronics trying to figure them out and getting pissed off at them calling tech support giving up you know dealing with trojan horses because you're downloading Porn on LimeWire. And any song you would hear. Well, this is a little later. Like in the early 2000s I guess. But You know you just had your simple machines. You had your VCR. Maybe a DVD player. If you were a bit. Rich. <laughs> um, you know. And you had a com- Some people had a computer. But barely anyone did. If you wanted to use a computer, you went to the library or to your friend's house who happened to have one. And you'd play fucking solitaire. Or, or, what the fuck is it called? That game with the paddles that flicks the ball around? Pinball. Pinball. Or Minesweeper. Or, if you were a child like I was and you watched a specific TV program like Teletoon or YTV or whatever or Treehouse they would always promote their website and you would go to the website and play their stupid ass games on the website but they were fun you enjoyed it because it was fucking something out of the ordinary it was new you know And then it kept building and building and building. And now everyone's sharing ideas left, right, and center. And people are making podcasts. Like, what the fuck? Who the fuck? What kind of idiot does a podcast and thinks he can express... uh, Express? Express his views. You know? Only an idiot would do a podcast. Stupid people do podcasts. Stupid people do podcasts.
Obviously a joke. Obviously a joke. Da 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 I'm getting a headache. I think it's because of the, the dust in my water. I really wish Janice would take the dust out of my water, but, you know, she is so unbelievably camera shy that, uh, she doesn't even want to come in to replace the water because she's scared her arm will show up in shot. And I'm just saying, you know, it's just an arm, Janice. Yeah, you've got some freckles. Yeah, you've got a mole with hair growing out of it. <laughs> but you can take my water and you can dump it and give me a new cup. And put new water in it. And give me a new cup. A glass. But nope. You're too busy. So I gotta sit here and drink my dusty water. Speaking of which, I could use a little bit of uh, throat lube. <clears> throat> Oh, Nelly. I think I might have drank all the dust, actually. That wasn't too bad. No. Woof. Ah. Took a bigger sip that time. And yes. Like, I'm not lying when I say this. There's literally dust on this water. I don't joke about dust. Okay? When it comes to dust... I don't fuck around. A little dust. It put a little dust in your life. Put a little bit of dust in your life. Watch this. I'm going to press a button and Reddit's going to pop up. Are you ready? Look. Are you looking? I pressed a button. Not pressing anything else. It's loading. My internet's slow. Bada boom, bada boom, bada bing. And of course, without any questionable doubt, what is this thing is the first thing that shows up. I wish someone would tell me why this happens. Every time I open up Reddit, what is this thing is the first thing. And if you watch this podcast, which you don't because no one does, but if you do, you would know... That every time I open up Reddit, this happens. So why? Why? Can you tell me why? Can you wish upon a mushroom? And tell me why? You can't. Because you don't know anything. You don't drink dusty water the way I does. You understand? Are you listening? Whoops. Just threw my chopstick. We're going we're gonna to do a little bit of Reddit because I fucking said so. And what I say goes, I'm the captain of this ship. Let's do it. Found a ranch in Texas, usually found in groups of several, very heavy and dense, close to round. Uh, they look like uh, meteors but they're quarter sized they are barite roses gypsum would be lightweight barite is dense thus heavy wow fuck I'm glad I learned that today uh, these guys ride water let's see I don't believe them uh oh Fuck off. Hold on, I got an important text message here. Okay. E oh uh oh oh uh uh Yeah uh, okay, so listen. I gotta pick my nose and 
I'm distracted. I got a text. See, like I did, like I said, if I was recording this with my phone, I would have missed that text message. Good thing I switched to the camera. Whoa! Whoa. Guy rides. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. If you click the video to pause it, it opens it up in a new window. Ouch. Oh, my thumb just cramped up. I'm only going to do a few more of these. Wait, what did this say? I didn't even read the title. Texas house explosion caught on different angles. Four people injured. Jesus. Why do we got to watch this? <laughs> Cops are there. Whoa! Oh! Blew that cop up. Shit. What? Who is this dude standing there? Did that guy die? I guess it just said injured, but fuck. Explosions. Tulsi looking fine as hell lately. Yeah, yeah, Tulsi Gabbard. She's working out, of course. I think that's why Joe Rogan is considering voting for her, because she likes to work out. Just kidding. We got a baby. I really don't like watching baby videos oh yeah you suck baby you can't even throw it in the net this 10,000 year old skull of an extinct giant Irish elk find a uh, found by a fisherman how'd you find that shit did you fish it out did you fish the elk skull Tell me, sir. You look Irish, but you also look American. Is that a septic tank in the background? I hope so. Look, he does treatment and pace and management. Hmm, let's find out about this guy. He's got pants with the knee leaning on thing ears. He's got a sweater and a gut, and his sleeves are rolled up. But he's also got, well, I don't know what kind of vehicle this is, but it looks like a family US, U, U, S, SUV. But his house doesn't look that great. And this little shed has, like, vines growing up it. I mean, do we really want to trust this guy with this, this elk? Take it away from him. Put it in a museum. He doesn't deserve this. I'm just kidding, by the way. I'm just kidding, by the way. A candle is water. Ready for this? This is impressive. I've seen this before, and I know exactly what's going on. It's not that impressive. So don't even pay attention to it. Ta-da, like it's, I mean, anybody could have figured that out. That time when a murder was witnessed on RuPaul's Drag Queen? A murder? What? Let me ask you a very, let me ask you a very fair question. What do you do successfully? Quickly. Oh. Ah. 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 What the f What kind of show is this? Bring your iPad on a roller coaster. What could go wrong? Hmm. Beats me. Let's see. There it goes. Cool. 
These students were suspended for protesting the Vietnam War. They brought it all the way to the Supreme Court and won. Damn. Is this the real life? Is this the fan? No, this is Patrick. That's a nice drawing. Oh. Whoa, this is cool. Fuck, that's cool. Wow. Imagine how much practice that would take. What the fuck? It's so cool. Wow. Can't even read it now. I don't know what it's saying. Run away. Oh, I wanted to see what they made. Why is this similar and why is it funny? <laughs> it is true. Ethan. Ethan, my guy. You're eating too much. You're going to explode. But if you do explode, do it on camera. I think that's all we're going to do for today, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Thanks for watching this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo and Podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification right now. Just do it. Hit subscribe, then hit the notification. Just do it. What harm is it going to do? I mean, really. It's obviously free. Just click it. Just click it. You can unclick it later. Just click it. Okay. Um. Yeah, with that being said, that is it. Um. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> that worked. She's wide awake now. I was trying really hard not to laugh. Bada boom.